Hey, it's Meg and Liza. In this video, we're going to show you how to use an image as a background in Hopscotch. So there are three basic steps to doing this. First, you get the image you want. Next, you upload it to Hopscotch, and then you make it the background. So this is Rodrigo's drawing in the free drawing app Paper. If you don't have a good app for drawing on your iPad, we recommend it. The first thing I need to do to use this drawing in my project in Hopscotch is to export it. Tap the share button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Then choose save image. On my screen, this is below mail and to the left of print. Then double tap the home button and go to Hopscotch. I'm starting in a blank project, but you can drop it into whatever project you're working on. Tap new image on the far left of the objects menu, and then grab the background from your camera roll. FYI, you need to be a subscriber to do this. Select your image and press check. Now I'm going to pinch the image to expand it. I do this by pressing down on the image and dragging my fingers in opposite directions until it's as big as it gets. When it's as big as possible, tap check. Now to use it as an object, tap the image in the menu. Now it should be on the part of the editor that's the grid. We call this the stage. We have to tell the image to be a background. Choose when the game starts, and then scroll to the green menu. Let's send it to the back. This makes it go behind everything else. And then let's also set size and type 200 in this bubble. Depending on how big or small your image is, you may have to play around with this number until it looks the way you want it to. Ta-da! Now the drawing is the background. You can follow these same steps with a photo you've taken, a picture you've saved from Google Images, something you've drawn in real life, or whatever you want. Watch our other videos to learn how to crop and more. Have fun! Bye!